the lamprey harvest is very intense. You always want to make sure that you have a good um, leader fish uh, crew. You know, it's a very heartwarming experience to not only gather it, but then also to give it to the different elders and for a lot of our ceremonial uses because nowadays it's considered such a delicacy. Usually it's only reserved for our elders. Lampreys are in trouble. Um, I think most people would agree with that, particularly when the further you go up into the Columbia River Basin. So just like with salmon, one of the solutions to fish declines was hatcheries. And the idea came about maybe we should do the same thing for lampreys. And this is really driven to a large extent by the tribes. They're very concerned about lampreys, real cultural icon for the tribes. It's one of the reasons we're so excited about the biological research going on now is because it's trying to parallel what's been going on with salmon for decades. We've been doing some experiments over the last two or three years to try to figure out um, techniques for spawning them, uh, hatching the eggs, rearing the young, feeding the young. A small starter feed, it's a, a very finely ground fish food. If we could try to rear them for two years, so maybe we can get them bigger, a little bit faster, we think that would probably be better for them. There's some huge challenges. Uh, it's never been done before. Uh, not to the extent of a trout or salmon hatchery where we can raise fish by the millions. There's a lot of effort going in to, to try to restore and conserve runs of lampreys and hopefully bring numbers back, particularly in places like the Upper Columbia, Idaho. Get these fish back into numbers where the tribes uh, could go to some of their historical places where they used to harvest these fish and get back to harvesting them.